friends, to another edition of Tiffin Box TV. I'm your host, Sei Shu, and today I'm speaking with Melissa Jill Photography, or Melissa Jill, or Melissa as she's known uh, <laughs> by all her friends in Phoenix. She's a wedding photographer based in Phoenix, Arizona, and has a just a, a robust studio that serves so many people there. Um, she's also going to be presenting a webinar with Shoot.Edit, and that's coming up in the next couple of days, actually. Um, I was intrigued to speak with her only because I used to photograph weddings and one of the things that really, really bogged me down was wedding album design. And so she's going to come in and talk to us a little bit about that and, and her webinar is going to be about it, really. So, Melissa, thanks for joining me today. Thanks for having me, Seshu. Uh, you know, let's just jump right into it. You're a busy studio. You've got, you know, associates working for you and you, you yourself uh, shoot lots of high-end weddings. What is the one thing that sort of challenges you uh, on a on a yearly basis? You know, do you are you challenged by the number of just images that you have to deal with all the time? Absolutely, um, just the high volume and and getting our 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 workflow fine tuned so that we can serve our clients really well. You know. Um, you can get bogged down in busy season. Um, you know, sometimes we have two or three weddings on a weekend. So how do we turn those around in our two-week turnaround time for our clients so that they have a great experience and want to refer us? So that's amazing. You just told us that you can turn around a, a wedding in two weeks. Yes, that's our goal for our associate clients. And actually for my own weddings, I, do, I try to do one, one week. So uh, yeah, so we try and I run a really tight ship here. <laughs> that process, that's that workflow. Did that come from uh, being a photographer for the last twelve years, or is that something that you've refined thanks to shoot dot edit? Definitely. I mean. Both? It's a combination of both. It's it's definitely been a work in progress over time. It's not something I started out with. Um, early on, I did a lot with um, hiring in, and I currently have a, a full time office manager, so she helps me, um, especially with the associate photographer program, um, with processing those weddings. But Shoot Data has been a huge help as well with um, with that turnaround time and getting everything really dialed in, especially as our our uh, quantity has increased. Indeed. Um, you're going to be speaking about album design, and as as my introduction sort of indicated, uh, my my experience uh, was not a positive one when I was mm. photographing weddings. I don't photograph weddings an, anymore, and when I when I think about those times when I had to sit and design albums, even though you know Fundy came up and produces amazing software, Fundy software, Fundy album designer, uh, I still struggle with it a little bit. What are your quick tips on in terms of album design for people who are working on, on putting Absolutely. these together. Yeah, we'll be going into a lot more depth at, in the webinar, but um, it's a real pain point for a lot of photographers, you know. Um, we think, you know, we can throw together an album design pretty quickly, and a lot of times we can with some of the software op options that are out there, but the problem comes when, you know, we're on to shooting the next wedding, and then the client ends up getting back to us in the midst of us being bogged down with other shoots and other, you know, urgent things and then getting back to them with revisions, you know, and how do we how do we serve our clients really well all the way to the end of the process so that they don't end up being grumpy clients, they end up being clients who are thrilled and really excited to refer us. So, we're going to talk about, you know, some ways to do that, specifically um, integrating some outsourcing of your your album design and how you can do that in a really profitable way. I think a lot of people think, oh, outsourcing is really expensive. I should just do it myself. I can do it myself. I've got time. But um, there's some some great tips that I'm going to share as far as how to upsell your albums in a really uh, professional way that really serves your clients and gives them what they actually really want from you. Um, and how to do that in a way where you can not only cover the cost of your outsourcing, but end up really profiting you know, exponentially from your albums and, and making, making your time you know, worthwhile. Fantastic. Uh, I, I, you know, when, it, when I'm just thinking about it, I'm like, where have you been, Melissa? <laughs> where have you been? You know, I could have, I could have used you about five years ago. Uh, uh, you know, it, it's, a, it's an interesting uh, situation with photographers these days. I mean, we are 
uh, so geared to going to weddings and photographing, you know, 1500 images. We come back, we are bogged down by that. Uh, you know, thankfully we've got shoot dot edit uh, to, to, process these images quickly and you know return those images to us so that we can start working on the album design now w w before we started recording you s you told me that you also own a company that that helps photographers design albums what is the, right. what's the name of the company the name is align album design okay. and i actually started it because of you know my own issues with album sure. design as a as a professional photographer knowing like the, those pain points and wanting to help other photographers sure. and so i really um started the the company with with photographers in mind and i know you know as professional photographers we really value our time um we want fast turnaround you know i took a, a cue from shoot data edit on that one um we really want um, something that's affordable because we want to maximize our own profit and i love clean designs that really show off um, the images and so those are kind of our targets um, with a line is clean fast and affordable designs when did this company uh launch three years ago okay again again I, I wish you guys. <laughs> where have you been? Where have you been? Where have you been? Uh, Melissa, thank you so much for joining me. I know That's the great. webinar is going to be a great hit because this is such a, an important thing that photographers uh, have to consider. I mean, you know, most wedding photographers are hopefully creating albums for their for their clients. I know a lot of them are eager to just give away their their files, and and you know, in my mind, that's such a disservice because. Mm -hmm you know the client is sort of leaning on you to create a document a living document uh, for them and their family for future generations and you just giving them a file on files on a usb drive it just makes no sense to me at all mm -hmm. so from a from an experience standpoint from a service standpoint really creating albums is really the way to go and i, I applaud you and 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 shoot.edit for being able to bring you together to, mm -hmm. to for us to be able to talk about this because uh, a lot of the times uh we don't know what to look for you know we don't know who to ask um and hopefully uh people like you can come in and say this is how it's to be done. Absolutely. You know, I so. include I include an album in every one of my packages and we're going to be talking about that on Wednesday how to how to transition and do that well and really um you know show clients what they want that they don't even know that they want and um ha have them walking away with that first family heirloom that they can you know pass on to the generations to come and it is so important and um i'm super excited to talk more about it indeed indeed so thank you very much for joining us yes thank you for having me take care <laughs> bye, bye.